What is going on, guys? We're back with another NBA news video as we edge closer and closer to the playoffs and the trade deadline and buyout market starting very soon. Um, Today, or well, yesterday probably, but Amon Shumpert, Andre Roberson, and Noah Vonley. I know I didn't put him in the title, but that's because the title would be way too long with his name in there too have been waived by the Brooklyn Nets. And if you didn't know, they had all just recently been signed by the Brooklyn Nets. And Amon Shumpert and Andre Roberson are expected to sign 10-day contracts with them. But that is just so they can keep their options open, most likely to go after a player like Andre Drummond if he gets bought out, or Blake Griffin if he gets off of the Pistons. So that is most likely the reason they are doing this. Um, Amon Shumpert was on the Nets last year for a little bit, and he ended up getting waived last year as well. Uh, Andre Roberson has only played uh, one game, I think, for the Nets, maybe a couple, probably a couple. There's only one picture on the internet that I could find of him on the Nets. I, I, no, I had two, the one in the thumbnail, and then this one that is coming up in like five seconds. Um... And so they haven't even played very long, and they will be on a 10-day contract, which is probably about three, four games that they minimum that they would be on the team for. So they're they might not be on the Nets in a couple more days. Uh, the Nets replacing Renault Vonley was they signed a player from the G League, who I'm blanking on his name right now. Like it's it's a G League player. That's you guys wouldn't have heard of him probably. He's power forward. And he's averaging about 20 points in the G League bubble. And so they signed him in place of where Noah Vonley's spot was. So Noah Vonley does not get the 10-day contract that Andre Roberson and Iman Shumpert do where they have to just show out. Um, but I like both these players. Andre Roberson, obviously most notably known for being on the Oklahoma City Thunder with Russell Westbrook and being a shooting guard that can't shoot. So kind of like defeating the purpose of shooting guard, but he was very, very good defensive player. He's also known a lot for being out for two years straight. He had like a horrific injury and he was gone for two straight years um, and just barely made his appearance back into the NBA, like in the NBA bubble last year. Uh, so he was out for a really long time. And then he signed with the Nets earlier this season and now he's signing another 10-day contract with them. But then it'll probably be out of there. I'm sure the Nets are going to find someone else that they're going to rather have on their team, like a center, like maybe Robin Lopez gets bought out, or someone like that, Hassan Whiteside, something like that. Um, I know, obviously, they want either Blake Griffin or Andre Drummond the most. Probably, probably. Like, we don't know that for sure, but probably. But they might have to settle for someone like Robin Lopez or Hassan Whiteside, which is not really that bad of a settling. Like I, I would be happy to have those players um, right now when they need this defensive players. It's better than like those G league guys are probably, probably better than most of the G league guys that you'd be able to get right now anyway. Um, and I hope Amon Shumpert stays on the nets. I really like him. I remember him from his Cavaliers days. Playing with LeBron, really good shooter, can be a good, good, can be a good defender when he's healthy. He started getting injured a lot in his last year with the Cavaliers, so that's kind of why he got shipped out of there to Sacramento and um, to the Rockets for a while, and then to the Nets and back and then back at the Nets again. He has definitely had some injuries, and he's kind of moving more towards his rap career. Um, pretty good rapper. So I kind of thought he was done with his NBA career, but then he got signed again. So I guess he's still interested in playing basketball, but maybe it's just not his number one priority anymore. Um, and Andre Roberson, I kind of didn't even know he wasn't on the thunder anymore until I heard that he got signed by the nets like a couple weeks ago. 
and it was like a it was a recent signing. Um, maybe he just got bought out or something. I don't really know. Um, from the Thunder, I'm not quite sure what happened with him. I know he was on in the bubble last season, but I don't really know what happened this season. Maybe no one just signed him in free agency. I I don't know. And I hope the best for these dudes because. I know that they've both had pretty lengthy careers, but I'm sure they would like to make some more money during their career um, before they have to retire. Obviously, Mon Chumpert, like I said, has got that rapping career going for him, so he'd be able to make some money from there. But I don't really know what Andre Roberson's got going. Besides that, um, I don't. He's not going to like host a host like a basketball shooting camp or anything like that. That's for sure because all the kids would be out shooting him. I don't know why I'm roasting Andre Roberson. This is this is just kind of mean. But I, he's not going to be hosting a shooting competition, that's for sure. But maybe like a def- defensive skills camp. Let's just be nice to him for now. And um, that player, that other player that I was talking about, the G League player that averages like 20 points per game in the G League bubble, he is also on a 10-day contract, I'm pretty sure. So he will also be on part of that 10-day contract. So let's say they can go out, get Blake Griffin, Hassan Whiteside and Andre Drummond. I bet they would be perfectly happy with that. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's a pretty big stretch. I think what will probably end up happening is they'll keep one or two of these three guys on the 10 day contracts. And then they'll like grab one player off the buyout market or something like that. That's what I think will end up happening. And then for Noah Vonley, I think someone will probably pick him up on a 10 day contract or close to like the trade deadline when they're like, okay, we need a player or maybe no one picks him up until around playoff time. Don't really know. He was on the bulls at the beginning of the season, but then got waived. And now he's made his way to the nets. And so hopefully someone signs him for his sake. I don't know what's going to happen with him for sure. Um, I feel like someone else will sign him probably. He, he can't really, like, I feel like he can't really pr- provide enough, but he is a veteran player that could maybe be good in the locker room. I'm not quite sure what he could provide to a team. Um, maybe someone like, hmm, who's a team that would maybe sign Noah Vonley? I don't know. Maybe just someone that needs his position would sign him. Like, maybe, who's a team? that Maybe, like, the Celtics go out and sign him. Um, I don't really see that happening at all, but it's a possibility that someone does go and sign him. But we'll just have to see. Amon Shumper, I feel like the Nets will keep around just because of his upside. Andre Roberson, we'll see. Um, I kind of feel like he'll stick around too. And then I kind of feel like that G League guy might just be a 10-day contract and gone type of dude. But you never know. I could be completely wrong. Maybe this G League player is really really good maybe he's like a Robert Covington like Robert Covington went undrafted the 76ers signed him because they wanted to start tanking and then he look at his NBA career he's been in the league for a long time and has made good money off of it and contenders always seem to pick him up because of his defensive um, awareness defensive ability and because of his three-point shooting. So he's been on the Blazers, the Rockets, 76ers, and Timberwolves, and probably someone else I forgot. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about these wavings, these cuts, in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way till the end, and I will see you guys later with another breaking news video, or maybe just tomorrow's regularly scheduled uploading. See ya.